hello everyone in this video I will talk about the association join so in the last video I already uh, described how we can use the view annotation and the element annotation so now I will join two tables so you can see that this view all data is coming from that S flight basically that is the uh, flight information now we will connect this flight information with the airlines number and so that uh, you can check in the uh, fury and we will check the data is immediately applying the fury so let's start so if we want to join um, association association is on kind of um, join so this purpose what we have to do so like here the view as this flight so basically that is, that is connection connection so now uh, we have to connect with the table uh, that is called sc dollar that is basically a um, airlines so that is airlines so basically that is the uh, one table and that is another table so now we just have to use that association so association so now here we have to use that cardinary so it this cardinary should be one to one so we can just put one and from this table to this table so you can uh, easily uh, realize that when you connect that to table so first table is the from and there's the name and that is another table to table that is another table and i can just rename with that as so as for uh, the standard um, rules we can use that underscore so that it will be easily understand that what is the uh, destination table so now on it should be projection so basically that carrier id is the key the primary key for the both table here id and that is the it um, and this table now same that is the carrier id So now you can see that uh, basically there are two table one is the s flight and another table is the uh, sca doubler so basically that is the uh, flight connection information and that is the airline information so we just join using the association and join type is one to one and that is just projection i mean that how it will join that is the primary key here so actually our join part is done so as i here use the connection so for the these all previous it should be connection is clear it is the connection the connection and that is the connection 
so you can easily understand that is all related with that um, connection I mean that S flight so just a tip here so now what we will do um, we will just hear that um, like airlines information so from here if we put another just uh, to make it public and we can here like that that is the airline um, information and we can also their URL so airline dot so URL so now actually we have to <laughs> use that annotation like here this here that is url so basically that is called that <coughs> sorry that is called that airline url and uh, that is the carrier name basically that is the um, airline name so here but although it is I mean that at uh, it uh, is 50 and it is 60 right so although it is in the position is 60 but actually like uh, let me there are something wrong where is the check okay so here that um, if I okay so here actually what happened I just so basically this is I already changed the name as the airline code so I need to select the airline code here and error gone such active and here we need to just refresh and if I just select go Uh, you can see that um, all airline code at the airline name and URL is already appearing here. So here if, uh, see now you can see that that is the connection between two table. So here actually we want to um, we want to make the airline names in front so here actually what we have to do like the airline names so we can just make position 10 and um, first we will do airline names then airline code so here airline code number is there that's good and at the end we can see the URL so it's airline code it should be uh, like um, 15 it just for example that how the position has 
being chased, so if I refresh, then you can just see let go. See, it's already changed. So uh, that's it to just to make sure that how uh, you can use that association join between the two table. So yeah, uh, that's it. Thank you.